I would ta I'd open the back doors of my van and I would tack up a tarp to make a surround and I just go in there with my uh, shower thingy and uh, if someone wanted to be you know stupid enough to take a peek well that's their great misfortune right so um organize my stuff clean out my van learn a new skill I want to get back into macrame and I want to get back into my artwork I want to draw I want to paint I want to do stuff stuff that I know my hands I don't know how much of that I'm gonna be able to do but I'm gonna try walk what a great act, idea and activity go for a walk it's probably not gonna be very far at first I'm gonna just keep trying I am gonna make an appointment with my orthopedic surgeon though I'm not gonna go in for surgery anyway but at least I could talk to him about it and uh, I don't know you know I need to lose more weight. I'm, I'm stuck. I'm really stuck. Cookies. Why'd I do that? I could just freeze the whole bag of cookies. I could take the cookies back. Walmart would take them back. I th No, they're not taking food back. At no, they took a watermelon back. I guess I could return the cookies. But there's got to be a little joy in your food. And I love the crunch and I love the sweetness. And I'm only going to eat two. Well, I'll look at the calories. I'll keep it at 100 calories. For that snack I usually do a hundred calories in popcorn 100 calories in some sort of sweet and um, the rest is calorie counted meals so yeah that's my story I'm sticking to it so that's some of my game plan um, I do have a game plan I'm not just like I'm gonna just fling myself out there and see what happened no I I have a I have a plan so that's what I'm following and I finished the big bedroom, which was Dennis's bedroom. I'm done with that, but his personal things are still in his little, um, what do you, they call that thing? It's a, it's a bench seat that opens and you can put stuff in it. I know there's a word for it, but it's totally slipped my mind. Michael wants that container. And, uh, I told him last night when we were at Walmart, I said, Hey, look, I got dad's personal stuff. The stuff you guys said, please don't throw this away. Um, it's in the trunk. He recently told me he's not going to take his father's chair. It's just too much painful memory of watching him deteriorate in it, you know. And I said, I don't like you guys keeping that bad energy in your home. Let's let it free. I'm going to sage it. Yeah, I know, I know. But it's intention, okay? It's not witchcraft, not to me. It's intention. You put the sage around. You ring a bell. You're changing vibration. You're changing chemistry to make it new and pure and clean for someone else. And they can embrace it and make it their own. I could sell the furniture, but I'm just thinking how sad it will be for those new people if they come here and there's nowhere to sit, nowhere to rest, and they're going to have to go out there and they'll have spent over $1,000 to get here because of the price of gas and hotels. And they'll have nowhere to rest themselves. I'm a pushover. I can't help it. I have a heart. I'm just thinking about it. I know I didn't get the price I really wanted, but I really feel like I feel like theirs is not going to be an easy path here because they, you know, just made it on the financials to get in here. And I don't know where the rent's going to go, but I have a very keen intuition that it's going to be well beyond what I would be able to do. That's my story today, and I'm sticking to it. Thanks for sticking with me. And... That's all I got to say for today. I'm in a better frame of mind. <sighs> That's done. His trunk is done, and I, I'm not... Oh, I found a picture. His, uh, he went to Plymouth State College, his ID, and he was just so young, but so miserable looking. God bless him. He was having a hard time with his family back then, and I just want to embrace that part of him and 
hold it close to my heart and say, I love you. I accept you just the way you are, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Mm -hmm. And I did to the very end. I was there for him. I'm very proud of that. It makes me feel really good. I might have been a bitch sometimes, but um, he understood. You're tired, Nikki. He understood. Well, he was with me 30, was it 36 years? Wow. Well, I'm going to continue, but today I think I'm just going to rest. I, that drained me. Going through his trunk was terribly, terribly painful. And I'm not sure I should have posted that video. It's bothering me. But it's there right now, and for now I'm going to leave it. I can't go back and look at it, and I'm sorry. I, I don't even want to go to the comments. I just want to keep away from that video for now. Please understand. And uh, don't forget to sing. I love to sing. I love to sing about the moon in a juna. Or however it goes. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.